All right, cool. So we got our IP address. Um, so welcome back. We are going to be doing monitoring today on offense security proving grounds. All right. Um, we just got our IP address, start with the machine, everything. If you've been with us, then you know that we already went through two other boxes today uh, in the past couple minutes here. And we got about 26 minutes left, so hopefully we can get through monitoring and actually do what we need to do with them. Okay, that's why you're going to see some weird stuff down here because we already got through a couple of boxes. So it's uh, CD, or actually you have to make a directory for monitoring. All right, CD in the monitoring. Oh. Uh, let's remove monitor, and we'll see the into monitoring. There we go. Uh, let's back LA, and we'll start up our M map. Always start up the M map scans. We'll see what's in here. That seems to be taking a minute. So let's go ahead and start up a rust scan also. What you doing back there? Ah. All right, so it looks like we got quite a few things in here. We got port 80, port 22. We got quite a few things. 389. We got LDAP. I mean, we got a lot of stuff in here. Um, this looks like a Windows machine almost with all this crap on there. But uh, let's go ahead and let's look out. Let's check out this uh, port 80 first. See if we find anything in there. And we have a Nagios XI. Click on the link to get started with Nagios XI. I feel like that's going to be our way in, like right there. Nagios XI. We got to redirect and everything. Man, that's crazy stuff going on up here. All right, let's check out Nagios XI. XI vulnerabilities. Let's check this out. Is Bursley still on? It is. Turn that off. Okay. Refresh. A lot of them. Okay, so we have multiple vulnerabilities for Nagios XI. Let's go ahead and do a search plate. Nagios XI. A bunch of crap in here, too. Okay. Wow. I uh, wonder if we should just start with the Metasploit ones and work from there. I mean, if somebody already built it, you know? Why change up the, what the wheel says? You know? Um, but, yeah, there's a lot of problems with this thing. Um... Let's go ahead and look up, see if there's anything with, because I don't know what the username and password is, so let's try Nagios XI, something I always like to look at whenever I don't know the system. Like, you know, Tomcat, Tomcat the secret, things like that. So let's look up Nagios XI um, default, username and password. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Um, Nagios, so the default user ID and Pure Power Integrated Manager Nagios Core Web Interface is Nagios Admin, and the password is Password. Okay, so we'll try Nagios Admin, Password, Password, Password Admin, Password Root. We'll try things like that. So Nagios Admin, Nagios Admin, Password. Nope. Okay. Admin. Yep. All right, so we got Password Admin. We also have these search points over here, right? Um, I never worked in Nagios. I don't really know what it is. Um, so some type of monitoring software, right? Definitely looks like some type of monitoring software here. I wonder if there's a way that I can get into this guy like over here. If I can upload anything. I'll uh, check for updates. I definitely don't want to update like right now. But let's go ahead and uh, look at some of these guys over here. So... Let's open up Metasploit because I, I, I know we have a couple. We have an authenticated remote command execution, which we just became authenticated. So we try that. MSF console. So, yeah, Nagios XI. I've never seen that one before. Never heard of that. So we can uh, start up an MSF console. We'll search for Nagios, I believe it's probably underscore XI, something like that. Yes, it is. Okay, and we have our authenticated RCE. So let's go ahead and grab that. All right. Uh, we'll use zero. Show options. Set our L host ton zero. Set our R host. Actually, yeah, we do need our host. Okay, set our R host to that. Without the HTTP. Okay. 
set our password to admin, right? And then set our username to Nagios admin. So even if we actually didn't know the username, we have something like right there that would have gave us a big hint for it. So let's go ahead and uh, run. See if we get anything with that. And see if we can get in this way. And it's looking so far so good. Awesome, we are. Okay, cool. So we did get in. Do a PWD. We're pretty deep in the system, too. So let's go ahead and uh, type in shell. Uh, which Python? Might have to do a Python 3. Nope, we do have a Python in there. Let's go ahead and stop this. We already made a shell on here, right? So let's go ahead and cat our full shell here for Python. Figure out who we are. I feel like we're probably WWD data. We are root. Oh. That's it. We're already root. Okay, was that it? <laughs> got the Nagios, we got the root, and we are done, huh? Submit a flag. Root. Save. Okay. Okay, that was easy. I'll say I thought that was great as like medium or something like that. Yes. All right, so monitoring is now done. That took us whole. Minute and a half to do. Actually, about six minutes. Well, that was three of them for you guys. Um, if you're actually watching the live stream, we did monitoring. We did potato. And we also did uh, SAR. So, those are going to be three different uploads on YouTube. Uh, thanks if you stuck around and watched it all. Thanks a lot. Thanks for uh, sticking around and everything. And, yeah, hope you guys have a good one. And if you have any questions, as usual, leave them down in the comments.